he with the most frame wins. So as long as you said? your frame. Each, so before before I used to pull like a lot. Justin knows this. Like I used to rely on our friend Matt to pull. So Matt had a lot of frames. He would make like everything seem normal. Like oh yeah, there's like a spot down the street. Like yeah. His like, frames were really good. It's, like so regular. Yeah. It's like he just makes everything seem like normal. Like oh yeah, spot down the street. Like yeah, we go there all the time. He just makes everything seem like normal. And since he has so much frame, like the girl will just like play along with it. Like it doesn't matter. So as long as like you hold the frame and you insist, but they're like, oh yeah, this is like normal, this like happens all the time, et cetera, et cetera. The girls eventually follow your lead because they're natural followers. So I used to do that back in the day when I first moved out. I was, I was living with four dudes in a two bedroom. I had a bed in the living room. It was fucking insane, right? Actually crazy. But when I'd meet up with girls for dates, I'd be like, hey, let me show you around. So I would take them like the amenities of my building. You know how like condo buildings have like amenities, you know, a pool and stuff like that. So I just show them like lounge. I'm like, look, this is the lounge. Come check it out. We go in. We go sit on the couch and shit. Then I show them like the kitchen area where they do like party events. And like, but I was treating it like this is my house. <laughs> you know what I mean? And the girls would be like, wow, it's so nice because my frame was so strong. They kind of just followed everything I said. Then I go take them up to the children's rooftop and be like, whoa, this is so cool. But I, again, I was treating it like this is like my living room or something like this. But it's like actually like the public space for the building. And then like I took them to the rooftop, then I just take them to my, my unit and I take them on the bed and they just want to fuck. But cause my frame was so strong. You know what I mean? But I was just like a brokey. I was paying like $400 for rent or something. Like 400 Canadian, like 300 US for rent. It was like something stupid. Like we're splitting it like four ways or some shit, like five ways. So, so retarded, bro. Right? But my frame was so strong. It just worked and I fucked so many girls. Right? Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. So yeah, it's, it's all about frame. And that comes from the way you feel through your inner game. So let's talk a little bit about that, actually. Um, can anyone see the screen? Yeah. Mm -hmm. anyone, okay. What does this word mean? Does anyone know? Does anyone know? <laughs> yeah, what does it mean, though? Can you describe it? Satisfaction. Sure, what else? There's no wrong answer. Sure, what else? Respect. Sure, what else? Safety. What else? Cool. What else? Fulfillment. Sacrifice. David, give me Sevi. I mean, come on, come on. It could just be like, you could just say like, even, but it's just a stronger version of it. Okay, what else? Um, Shit. Yes. <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah. No, I mean, uh, you, yeah. oh. uh, I'm drawing a blank. Um, There's no wrong answer, bro. Yeah. There's no wrong answer. If you want to get this, you have to understand these <laughs> concepts. Okay. So what is it? Caring. Sure. So let me ask a question. Can a girl love you if you don't love yourself? No. Why? Because you can't take the lead. Can't take the lead. What else? That's actually a really she good answer. Feels what you feel. She feels what you feel. Yeah. Exactly. So when you love yourself fully, automatically, how are you gonna what are you what what type of person are you gonna be? Person of what? Who gives value? Giving value. Do you guys understand this? I find it interesting how you like crushed it last night and you're understanding these concepts intuitively. Because we all understand a lot of those concepts intuitively, but it's like, do you apply it to your life? So give, okay? Just for the sake of um, learning, we're gonna say share instead of give, it's just a synonym, same thing, okay? So you can think of love as self-love. Think of it as self-esteem. Think of sharing as giving, giving value, sharing. So imagine this, you love yourself fully. From the get-go, when you guys showed up here yesterday, does it seem like I love myself fully? Or is it like 90% or is it 50% or is it 100%? 100%. 100%, right? Does it seem like I judge myself at all? I'm gonna be saying, oh, I have perfect anxiety, but I don't really give a fuck, right? Does it make sense? I don't, is this a surprise I got laid yesterday, yes or no? No. If women feel that you don't love yourself fully, they might just flake on you for no reason. They, they might even feel over text, they might just flake on your ass. Should I hear the subtleties and nuance of my voice message I sent to her? Cause I can show you guys exactly, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I fuck that girl. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I text all these bitches, set dates, etc. Okay, I'll show you my, my later this week, how I text girls and why not, okay? So when you love yourself and you share it fully, what happens automatically? You feel censored, you know? Okay. Yeah, if you, you feel, energy. say again? You energy. Yeah, exactly, you're sharing, you love radiate energy. Absolutely you do. Absolutely you do. I noticed so many times yesterday, random people staring at me. But then the other day, uh, Michael, was I with you? I think it was on Saturday. 
I was really tired and no one, no one was, almost nobody was approaching me. Like not as much on Saturday, I think, Saturday night. I don't think I got approached much on Saturday night. We did streets, I think. I think, because I was like all kind of closed off and I was kind of tired, right? We pulled quick, we didn't smash, we went back out, we didn't pull, right? Because I was really tired, I was underslept, I wasn't feeling great, right? And I also didn't get approached by a lot of fans. And I noticed whenever my vibe is really open, people are like, oh, that's Justin Mark. Yesterday, dude, come take a picture of me. Random guys come up to me nonstop. Like, I was getting almost like mobbed yesterday. It was fucking crazy, dude. That young and done. That's like nonstop people coming up to me. It's fucking like too much, right? Why is that? Why do people notice me more when I'm full of self love and I'm sharing value? Does anyone know? You're way more approachable. You're more approachable. In fact, you're more noticeable. What's your body language like when you're full of self love? What's your facial expressions like when you're full of self love? What's, what about your proximity? How about that? It's perfect. Sense. It's perfect, right? Yeah. What about your voice and the way you communicate your voice? Subjective. It's all, it all works, right? It all just works perfectly, right? Yeah. Make sense? Yeah. So when you love yourself fully, you share it with others, right? What happens automatically? Does anyone know? Yeah, it attracts magnetism. Magnetism. Yeah. Brings people to you. And then what? So remember yesterday I kind of mentioned like half time I'm out, I don't have to do cold approach anymore. Girls come, almost come to me because of the vibe. However, you still gotta do cold approach and be active and proactive. You don't wanna just be some pussy relying on your vibe to get girls, it's stupid, right? But yeah, like half the time, like I'll do the approach, but they do the chasing. Like I might physically approach them, but they emotionally chase me, if that makes sense, right? So when you love yourself fully and share with others, what, again, what's happening? You're just sharing value. You're giving value to the world. You're giving value to the world, and then what happens? It comes back to you. It comes back to you. So that's called collaboration. Everyone say it with me. Collaboration. 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 Collaborate, okay? Another word for that, another synonym is win-win. Okay, so think win-win. Say it with me, win-win. 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 So we can either write down collaboration, or win-win doesn't really matter. It's the same word, pretty much, right? Let's do collaborate. Look at it. Collab or win-win, right? So it's collab win-win. We're sharing and giving. Same thing, right? Collaboration means win-win. That's what it means. Like that's really what it is. It's like I win, you win, we all win, right? What's cool about collaboration is we literally change the laws of the universe. One plus one doesn't equal two anymore. It equals eleven. Say it with me. One plus one equals eleven. Now hear me out, hear me out, think about this, right? I bring 300 bitches to the club. Who wins? The club, the club. Okay. Who else? You. Who else? Mine. The women. Everybody <laughs> wins. Everybody wins. Yeah. It's not just win-win, it's win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win-win, right? The club's happy. The guys are more than happy. You guys are on boot camp, you get to fucking learn shit. Uh, the club will give you more booze. The girls are happy because they get free booze, right? They get free drinks. Yeah. The guys are like, holy shit, there's hot girls here, let's fucking pop bottles, whatever, yeah. right? The content's fucking dope. The girls like cloud chasing, like being on camera. The video gets like a million views. Like, oh my God, I'm getting attention, right? So the club's happy. The random dudes at the club who I don't know are like, oh wow, all these bitches are here, this club's lit, holy shit, right? The club will pay me a thousand, two thousand dollars and give me free booze or whatever just to show up there for two hours, right? Just think about that. The girls are happy, everyone's happy, you guys are happy, the photographer there's happy, random dude got his dick sucked by some random chick who ended up showing up to the club on my guest list is happy. Everyone's happy, everyone's winning. Everyone wins, the club makes money, the girls get drinks, they don't have to pay for shit, right? I get my content. Did everyone win, yes or no? And at the end of the night, I go home and pull three some or four some or five some or seven some, right? That's my life. That's been my whole summer. Okay. So who wins? Everyone. Everyone's everyone. So one plus one, what does it equal? Eleven. Eleven. It's not fucking crazy. You can actually stack that. You can actually stack that. When you have like a bunch of dudes who know how to understand these concepts and add a fuck ton of value because you love yourself so fully and you know your skills, you know yourself, your good side, your bad side. You know your best parts of you and you know the worst parts of you and you just want to share and give yourself non-judgmentally to the world, you're going to be extremely collaborative. Everything you do is going to be a win-win.
You're never going to be taking value. You're only giving value. Say it with me. Give value. Give value. Give value. Love yourself. Share. Give value. Say it. Love yourself. Love yourself, yourself share. share give, give, value. Give, value. give value. And then you collaborate, right? Create win wins. Do you guys understand how this works? Yes. So, kind of woo woo, yes or no? But does this make logical sense, yes or no? Yes. Yeah. It's very clear. This is kind of like my life philosophy. This is why at 27 years old, I made millions of dollars, traveled over 50 countries. I'm literally friends with celebrities. I become friends with anybody I want to be friends with. Okay, my old mentors are now my peers and colleagues, which is fucking insane to think, considering how far down I made it from, okay? And I'm at the top, right? I fucked hundreds of women. I have, like, I have two girls with my name tattooed on them. And I've just onboarded two new girlfriends, essentially. You guys have seen me, the beginning of me onboarding a new girlfriend, yeah. right? You know, the, the biggest reason I'm doing that is just to flex on you motherfuckers, because you guys are saying you want a girlfriend or whatever. We're like, oh, I eventually want a, a girlfriend. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna show you how to get a girlfriend. Boom, done. I'm like, give me, give me like five hours. Done. I have a, new, I have a fourth girlfriend. Okay, yeah. like take that in. You guys showed up here and you're like, I want a girlfriend. That's my goal. Great. I'm gonna show you how to get a girlfriend. I'm gonna show you exactly how I did it. And I did it myself, just to explain to you exactly what I just did on Tuesday, yesterday, to get a fourth girlfriend. Does it make sense? You guys understand what I'm saying? And I can call all these bitches back to back. I can show you like the dynamic I have with them. It's very interesting. It's very interesting, right? You guys understand? Okay, but would I be able to do that if I'm coming from a place of full self-love, yes or no? Yes. Would I be able to do it if I wasn't coming from a place of self-love? No. It'd be very difficult. It'd be very difficult. Yesterday we're out in public, I'm saying I have approach anxiety. Did it seem like I had approach anxiety, yes or no? No. Did it seem nervous, yes or no? No. Why? Because of that. Okay? Were you there before all your success? Where was it what? Here? No, Here? No, full self love. Fuck Where no, dude. Oh, no, no, no. Before my success? Yes, it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah. Before my success? Yes, it was. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. No, I had this first and then success follows. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. This comes first. A lot of guys, I always get these comments on my social media like, you get all these girls because you have money. I'm like, actually, I spend zero dollars on women at all. This bitch paid her own Uber home last night.